Hi, Virgo. All right, let's see what is going on for you, Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, Virgo. More shuffle, Virgo. Overall energy is the Eight of Cups. Ten of Coins is how they feel. Knight of Cups is how they view you. In the hidden position, the Knight of Coins. Outcome is the Three of Swords. Under the deck, though, is the Nine of Swords. It is in reverse, so someone is getting over sadness or being worried. Somebody may be letting something go and it makes them sad. Nine of Coins can be someone who is stuck looking at the past. So it can be someone who may not be communicating with you, who may be missing you. Someone may be stuck in heartache. That can be also like afraid to move forward. Someone may have a fear of commitment as well. So yeah, you have someone here who's like 10 of wands. I feel like either by choice or, you know, maybe they, they have to leave. They have to go do something. They, two of you are not together. They may feel very empty or lonely with the five of coins. It could be because of work, money, family, the 10 of pentacles, travel, anything like that is in their energy right now. They could also be like disappointed that they're leaving something that could be really long lasting behind. Meaning like the two of you could, could have had possibly a relationship or something long term, but they're, uh, their fear of commitment or something like that is getting in the way. So, and they're sad. Wow, this person is heartbroken, Virgo. How they view you is a soulmate. And they they seem to know that because even under the deck, it shows that they're holding back the four of coins. And they're lying about it, the seven of swords. Like they know that there's a soul connection here, but they're refusing to pursue it for whatever reason. And, and eight of swords can mean fear of commitment. So let me see what else they're doing here. What's in the hidden? Four of Cups. So they're actually contemplating this right now. They're, they're thinking about staying where they're at or reaching out with the Four of Cups. But the outcome is staying stuck in heartbreak right now, trying to figure out what to do. This person is trying to figure out what to do, Virgo. So they have feelings for you. Show me what they think about, Virgo. The Seven of Coins. So you could have some history with this person. Sometimes it tells me like there's something in common, some things in the past. Um, seven of coins, what else? Page of cups. They may have other options, but they seem to, I, to like you the best is kind of what I'm getting. They could actually have deep feelings for you and maybe this is what's causing them not to move forward. They don't want to get hurt. They'd rather stay in something that's, you know, like basic, something where there's no feelings. How's they feel about Virgo? Four of wands. I do feel like they see a future or there could have been a future with you. But it looks like, why are they walking away? This person is not showing emotions. They're not opening up. They think too much. What else? It could be an Aquarius. Maybe they feel like what they need to do is, it's like they're protecting themselves is what I'm getting. They feel like they have to walk away to protect themselves. I mean, they could be doing something else as well, though. Like they may, they could be another relationship. You would know that they could be having to travel or leave for a job, leave you behind for some sort of work or family issue. Uh, Five of Cups. Maybe they feel like they have to do something else with the Star card that's meant for them. They may want to stay in contact. They may want to talk or work things out. Three of Coins, but yeah, they know there's a relationship between the two of you. They could be a fire sign. You could also have new love coming in because it's showing three of wands, nine of cups, a fire sign for some of you. So if this situation isn't working out, there could be new love. What do you see this person doing next? The wheel and the nine of cups. They could be partying a lot, drinking a lot, going out. Um, it can be dating, but it's not serious dating with the nine of cups. You see them reaching out to Virgo. You. I don't know about right now. I do feel like they want you to reach out to them. Uh, they may also feel like they're really busy or they may say I'm really busy. I just can't. It doesn't mean they won't. It just means like at this moment, they won't. Fool. I have a sword. Okay, what's in their heart? But how do they truly feel what's in their heart? Page of Wands, like they do want to reach out. They do want to talk. They do want to do something or move forward. Yeah, they want to communicate with you. I do see the Two of Cups under the deck. 
So I think a fear of commitment is holding this connection back with this person. Um, they come across possibly as a player, but they aren't necessarily is what I'm getting there. They, they kind of act that way. Uh, they may have some emotional wounds. Well, they, I'm sure they do. If they're stuck in this type of energy, they have emotional wounds that they need to heal and work on themselves. Again, I get them telling themselves that it's not really love. They don't have feelings. And if they do, and again, they could be drinking or smoking or something like that. Going slow is a good idea, but again, this may have already happened. Going slow, getting to know each other, taking your time. Building a friendship is important because there could be a second chance. But see, there's some healing that needs to happen with this person. So it's like maybe two things moving too quickly spooks this person or scares them. You need to take things slowly. They're definitely, like I said, there could be um, another chance with them at the moment. Probably like they're not going to reach out maybe this week. But it doesn't mean like they couldn't be reaching out uh, next week. Also, we have retrograde in October. So that will definitely be a possibility of them coming back around between the 9th and I think it's the 14th. So what does Virgo need to know? Loyal heart. No place like home. Divine timing. Some of you will find your true soulmate. Some of you, if it's not this person, you will find your true person who is like home to you, who has a loyal heart and divine timing. I do get, if it's not this person, there's somebody else coming in as well. Like they're on the horizon. Uh, so for some of you, you haven't known this person too long anyways, and maybe you met them for, through a friend or something. I just kind of get, for some of you, this is not your person. But somebody else is. Let me do this other deck because sometimes it's so sad. What does Virgo need to know? Very soon. You have new love coming in, so keep an open mind. Who's new that's coming in for you? I'll move a different deck. They could be somebody who has brown or black hair who's kind of tall. I kind of get like on a, the taller side. You've seen them before, so I'm getting they may like wear a uniform or a jacket. I'm seeing something like they wear something that's black, like a black jacket or shirt. You could have darker um, hair or skin. If they have nice hands, I don't know why they're showing me that they have nice hands. They could laugh a lot or have a very nice smile. Listen to your intuition. There is a relationship. There could be communication. Someone could be apologizing and this will make you happy. So there could be an apology coming in, five of cups, or communication from someone. But you have the eight of cups here. So the original energy of this first reading was letting something go, having the strength to walk away, having the strength to walk away from something that's not working, something that's not good for you, a person who isn't going to do the inner work is what I'm seeing, who wants to stay stuck in sadness. Eight of swords, three of swords. But you have somebody else coming in who I feel going slow and building a friendship with this person would be better than like rushing things and getting too going too quickly you may also have two people because i'm seeing these two people at this very close let me say they could be at the same time but they could be very close a king of swords and a king of wands could be different signs but um, i am seeing there could be two people to choose from so just be aware of that as well let me go to this deck really quick What does Virgo need to know? Obscure. It says it's hard to see the way forward, but trust the path. Also, see beyond. Look past obstacles right now to get to the finish line. So again, right now you're confused. You don't see what, who the right person is. You don't know what they're doing, why they're doing it. Again, I think it's fear of commitment, plain and simple. And you may feel like left out, left behind, but it wasn't you. It was not you, Virgo. It was them. They have some healing to do. I feel like it was, um, you may have been a catalyst for them to heal or change. And just knowing that this person did have feelings is probably why they walked away because they don't want to be in a relationship where they have those feelings where they could get hurt. They don't want to be vulnerable. So that wouldn't be the right person for you anyways. The beauty energy, when it comes to love, you're overcoming obstacles. That means you're still going through some stuff. You could still be feeling stuck in the mud when it comes to your love life. But you are coming out of that. You're overcoming these lessons that you're going through to freedom. Exactly. Being free. Being happy. So don't be disappointed if it hasn't been great. It's getting better. Okay. 
you are overcoming these obstacles. That's exactly what these cards are saying here as well. So I'm going to leave it there, you guys. Have a great week.